this is our example number five for the topic of moment of repose. Determine the moment of the forces about point O. Ayan. So, yung problem number four natin, isang force lang na incline. So, ngayon naman, dalawa na. Okay? Kasi, mas maganda na pinaparami natin yung mga forces. Okay? So, ngayon, parehas naman silang inclined. So, parehas natin silang um, i-resolve. Okay? Ayan. Okay? So, sabihin ito ay F1Y and this is F1X. Then, yung F2 natin. Ah, yes. Yung ating F1 is directed upward to the right. At yung ating F2 is directed downward. Okay? To the right. Ayan. So, this is F2X. And this is F2Y. So, convert muna natin. So, ito. Okay? Yung ating F1Y is equivalent to 500 multiplied by, okay, so, based sa problem number 4 natin, so, gamitin natin yung concept na yun, or shortcut. So, gagamitin natin dito na slope is 3 over 5. So, this is 300 newton. At yung ating F1x is equals to 500 multiplied by 4 over 5. So, this is equivalent to 400 newton. So, next, yung ating namang F2y So, since ang ating angle is with respect to x-axis, ibig sabihin yung ating F2y is opposite to 60 degrees. Okay? So, therefore, F2y is equal to 600 sine of 60 degrees. So, 600 sine of 60 degrees. So, 519.62 Newton and F2x is equivalent to 600 ang at F2x is adjacent to 60 degrees. Therefore, cosine of 60 degrees. So, history. Ayan. Then, edit lang natin ito. Cosine. Ayan. So, 300. Newton. Ayan. So, pwede na tayong mag uh, moment sa so, O. So, gawin na natin. Ang assumption natin is clockwise. Okay? So, sa mission of moment at O, clockwise is positive. Is equivalent to F2x, iikot siya ng clockwise, papunta kay O. Okay, gagano ito siya. Tama ba? Okay, isa-isa natin yung ano, rotation. Yan. So, clockwise. So, positive. F2y is 519.62 multiplied by moment arm. Ang moment arm niya is 0.125 and 0.13. So, pinagsama. So, that is ano, 0.425. Then, yung F2x, pwede natin, ano yan, extend yung moment arm niya. I, I mean, line of action, ayan. Ayan. So, itong line of action na to, ito rin yung effect ng ating F1x. Then, therefore, ito yung kanyang, ano, uh, moment arm. Ito. Ayan. O, ito yung moment arm niya, which is equivalent to 0.25. So, ang ikot naman niya is what? Ang ikot nitong uh, F, F, F2x natin is pa ganyan. So, clockwise din. Okay, so, sabihin, positive. F2x is 300 multiplied by moment arm na 0.25. Okay, then, F1x, parehas lang sila ng line of action ng F2x. Ibig sabihin, parehas lang din sila ng rotation. So, positive F1x, which is equivalent to 400 multiplied by 0.25. Okay, yung F1y, i-extend natin yung kanyang line of action. Ito, yan. Then, ang kanyang moment arm is ito. Okay? Kasi ito yung perpendicular kay F1x. Which is equivalent to what? This distance, which is equivalent to 0.425. At ang ikot nito, yung ating F1x is... Okay, paganto kasi F1x eh. Yan. Okay, so ang ikot niya is counterclockwise. Okay, so ibig sabihin negative. Ang F1y is 300 multiplied by 0.425. So, this is what? Newton and meter. So, Newton meter ang ating moment. So, moment at O is equivalent to... Okay, moment at O. Marami-rami ito. So, 519.62 multiplied by 0.425. Plus 300 multiplied by, oops, wait lang. Ayan. 
300 multiplied by 0.25 plus 400 multiplied by 0.25 minus 300 multiplied by 0.425 and so 268.34 so positive 268.34 so tama ba? 268.34 newton meter so since positive ayon sa ating assumption ang positive daw is clockwise ibig sabihin ang nag-govern na rotation sa ating uh, moment at O, okay, or sa ati, yes, sa ating force system is clockwise rotation. Okay? Ayan. So, same pa rin din naman sa concept ng ano, sa concept ng ating uh, problem number 4. So, pares na pares pa rin. So, if you want to uh, check dun sa isang assumption natin na counterclockwise is positive, yes, pwede nyo i-check yun. Uh, sabihin ko sa inyo, ang lalabas rin is 268.34 at ang rotation niya is counter clockwise. Ah, sorry. Uh, ang rotation pa rin niya is clockwise. Okay? So, yan. So, this is our problem number 5 for the moment of a force topic. So, thank you for watching. Bye!